There is an instance I do remember, and that is that a brother officer called Bill Bruce, who was in Malaya as a rubber, uh, supervising a rubber estate, and he was walking through the plantation one day, and he saw this old man sitting under a tree, and he was beckoned over, and the old fellow, he's one of these holy men, the fakir, said to him, you will be involved in a great conflict and you will not see your 23rd birthday. And Bill, of course, didn't pay much heed to this, but when war broke out, he came across to join and he joined the Irish Guards and he was with me there. And I remember before the breakout, we were sitting in this orchard prior to the breakout to Brussels, and he told me this story, and I am always very skeptical about these sort of things. And I said, ah, oh, Bruce, that's a lot of nonsense, you know. Oh, well, he said, that, that's what, what happened. And uh, I remembered this, and then, of course, the breakout to Brussels, and went l along there. And I think it was about a week or something like that, or three weeks before his birthday, and I remember keep saying, <laughs> uh, Bill, you've got another three days or another week, you're okay, sort of thing, you know. And uh, then eventually we arrived in Brussels, everything was okay, and I think there was two or three days, and I said, there you are, the old fellow talking a lot of nonsense and everything, and we left Brussels, broke out, and he went up to do a recce, and he was taken out by a sniper. And that was just two days before his 23rd birthday. And I was just absolutely amazed at that. Made me think twice, perhaps there is something in all these queer fellows. So that was an incident. Were you, were you with him on the patrol? No, I wasn't, no. He had gone out on his own to do this, uh, just to do a patrol to see how things were. Now, unfortunately, the sniper must have just seen him and took him out.